Happy Monday! Welcome back to my channel, Dear Twin Flame. Uh, I want to start off today with a quick um, apology to my Twin Flame. Yesterday I was feeling pretty anxious and I had no uh, um, rationale for it. So I wondered if maybe he was suffering in some way uh, under stress, under uh, fear, under anything. Um, I still believe something of it had to do with him, but I found, come to find out today that uh, two close friends um, had major tower moments yesterday. Um, one um, found out that she'd miscarried her baby and is gra um, um, struggling with that knowledge, and um, so for her, I send only love and light and hope she can find some peace in this process as she tries to understand and come to grips with this um, this loss. Um, the second was I had a friend pass last night uh, from cancer and although she's been battling cancer for a while we had thought she was um, we thought she'd beaten it to be quite honest we thought she'd beaten it. Um, she was diagnosed for almost five years ago and she fought hard and she went into remission but found out just recently that it had come back and that there was no course of action so unfortunately for all involved she did pass yesterday and um, the grief her family and friends and our extended swim family are feeling is immense um, it's funny you know in these times of loss, um, I'm kind of, I have a new outlook on them that makes it easier for me, I guess, but it, um, in that I truly believe with all my heart and soul that these people have moved on to a better place, to a higher um, vibration where they can do good from the 5D realm and um, that they are no longer in pain, they are no longer suffering as a result of our 3D form. Uh, it's uh, what I'm still struggling with and learning to cope with is those left behind. It's the it's the sadness and the grief and the anger of those left behind that I'm learning to um, um, deal with. To to um, hopefully in my own way help guide them through that process a little quicker, uh, but. But ultimately, those left behind are the ones that suffer the most, and those who have gone on to um, that higher realm are are free, are free. So, to everyone who is suffering from these loss, I send love and light, and know that our prayers are with you in this time. Okay, so that being said, I want to talk about the new moon. So it was a new moon in Scorpio last night, and... Um, New moons typically um, are about releasing, releasing that which no longer serves, releasing anything that um, is holding us back from um, reaching our highest good. And the new moon in Scorpio is no exception. <laughs> it's actually a big one. So it's asking, um, I, 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 I wasn't going to mention anything about the new moon because there's lots out there, but I realized that um, I found this article, it, or it was sent to me, and it's finding purpose beyond your fear. That's what New Moon in Scorpio is highlighting, finding purpose beyond your fear, which, ironically, is all the videos I have been um, posting for the last few days. So, uh, is moving through the fear. And this article is fantastic. I don't know who wrote it. I will find that out before I... Oh, it's posted on rising, risingvibrations.com. I will post it in the description box below. Um, but I just wanted to focus... It, the article is very long, but it's very informative. Uh, it basically talks about how we need to... This this moon is going to shake us up That where, the, where all the um, planets are lining and... and changing direction and and doing all their astrological mumbo-jumbo, which I 
don't know a lot about and I'm learning. Um, but basically saying it's here to um, shake up our comfort zone of sitting in a path in life that is not, not uh, moving us forward on our true purpose. This moon is here to bring up all the crap. It's here to force us to face um, truths that most likely we don't want to and um, shift us and shift us so that we can remember and be um, enlightened to what our true purpose on this on this planet is. So many of us get wrapped up in societal norms, societal expectations, um, material objects, monetary worth, um, what the Joneses had, keeping up with the Joneses, uh, all that um, scenario, this moon is here to shake it up and to say, um, that's not why you're here. Pay attention. We're going to move things around. So that's, that's the, that's the key to this moon. But I just want to read this one part of this article for you. And it, um, specifically talks about, um, moving through your fear, which is what this um, video, my videos have been about for the last few days. So it really, it really resonated with me. And I'm just going to read this one part and uh, just share this part and you can, you can go back and read the whole article later. Keeping our fears at bay gives them so much power over us. We give our power to those fears by allowing them to control our choices. You see, avoidance takes a lot of effort. It means not doing anything that could possibly lead to the thing that we wish to avoid. And the worst part of it is that we actually live with that fear so close to us by doing so, so close that our very purpose begins to revolve around in holding it at bay. Our world reflects this process. Our fears are highlighted by the media and the solution is offered to hold it at bay, not to face it, investigate it, or integrate and embody what comes of that process, but to run from it to control it, to avoid and distance ourselves as much as possible from the objects of our fear. The fear of failure, of intimacy, inadequacy, rejection, the fear of future and ultimately of death. Can you see how we avoid them? Can you see how you hold them at bay? Can you feel them inviting you to face them? What would happen if you did? Fear gives us a purpose, the purpose of survival. Our purpose becomes the, the avoidance of that fear. Our purpose becomes to survive. By holding everything at bay to keep hunt, haunting our unconscious and driving our choices holds us locked into survival consciousness, fear consciousness, and the only way out is through. Move through the fear. That's what I've been saying. Move through the fear. You'll be amazed at what's on the other side. To move towards the fear we hold within us, to examine it and to understand its grip on us. That is what our, that's what we need to do in order to find our purpose. If we wish to find our deeper meaning, to find our purpose beyond survival, we must face what scares us. We cannot connect to the true purpose of our life without first facing our shadow. The integration of our shadow, of our unconscious compulsions, and the drive to hold on to the familiar is the very process behind finding our true purpose and destiny. There is a purpose waiting for you to show up, a fulfillment of your place in the world, an embodiment of your inner truth. There is an alignment with being in the right place at the right time with the right people. To get there, your choices have your choices have been rooted to your inner truth, not the one you have been conditioned to accept, not society's rules, not society's expectations. You have you have a unique path that's been embedded in you, but you need to follow through. Um, that means following your unique path, risking failure, exposure, inadequacy, rejection. It means showing up, realizing that you don't have forever, not putting your life off, but living it now while you still have a breath in your lungs. You are always on the threshold of change. How you approach it will determine your future. Every choice you make is either avoiding fear or embracing love. Choose love. Oh, I've got, I've got goosebumps because it kind of goes back to exactly you know the start of my video and I, maybe that's one of the other reasons I was feeling so uh, so torn up inside is that um well this baby didn't have a chance at life but 
there's all there's always a reason and and I I truly believe that this baby will be an angel to her parents or his parents and will guide them from above but um they needed this this um lesson in their world for some reason and I'm not sure what gift or blessing or or lesson they're going to learn from it but when they are able to um, face it and and accept and show gratitude and um, I know that sounds harsh but there's a there's always a reason behind it or or um, a set plan and then with my friend passing um, I know that she's taken these last few years to live life to the fullest. She's kind of said, screw you, and just did her thing. And and it it makes my heart break that it takes the the, in, in, the immediate threat of death to make people want to live their truth. Um, you should want to live your truth every day. You should want to live your truth every day. So walk through the fear. Walk through that fear. Whatever this moon is shading, shaking up for you, walk through it. Don't avoid it. Don't let it, um, don't, don't let it discourage you. Don't let it chase you away. Walk through it because life on the other side is, is where you're supposed to be. And, and you want to live life. You want to, you you want to live it to the fullest. It's not just survival. It's not just about survival. That being said, I will leave it at there. Um, I hope you have a great night. Dear Twin Flame, you are loved, you are missed, and I think of you often, obviously. Mwah.